Welcome to Peds Doc Talk TV. I'm Dr. Mona Amin, a board certified pediatrician and mom. And this is part one of a two part series on introducing cups to your babies and which ones to choose and transitioning them completely off the bottle, which will be part number two. In order to transition a baby from a bottle or breast to a cup, we first have to be able to know that they have the skill to handle cup drinking. Then we focus on transitioning them. It's best to focus on it this way as we need them to master the motor skill for the transition to be successful. When they refuse, we know it's preference or behavioral and not the lack of ability to do it. This will give you more reassurance when they refuse it out of defiance, which I'll get into in part two of this series. Subscribe to this channel so that you do not miss the next episode or any other future episodes on Peds Doc Talk TV. And here we go. So what is the natural progression of cups? Well, first, a bottle is going to be introduced in infancy and hopefully weaned by 18 months. An open cup, you see how this is small for the baby's hands, can be introduced when starting solids or when the baby has started to sit. A straw cup can be introduced anywhere between 9 to 10 months and definitely by 12 months. This can take some practice, which I will go over in this video. All of my favorite cups are available on my Amazon storefront, which I have linked here and also in my caption. These cups are preferred for the way the lips and muscles in the mouth wrap around the straw and rim of an open cup. This oral muscle development can help promote more advanced speech patterns and promote sipping versus sucking. So it's a more mature movement pattern of the jaw, similar to what we use. Also, prolonged use of bottles and sippy cups have the tendency to pull liquid around the teeth which increases the risk of cavities. So open cups and straw cups can reduce this risk. Overall, I like teaching about open cup and straw cup use because this is how we drink things and children will eventually do as we do. And the fascinating thing is that babies can be taught this as early as six months for open cup and nine months for straw cups. Sippy cups are not bad, but straw and open cups are more ideal. 360 cups that have a rim like this, they can be a good option as well as they're learning the straw cup but I prefer focusing on open cups and straw cups because this is what we want them to do in the future. So it limits the confusion with all the different types of cups. My goal is for you to wean the bottle off by 18 months, latest at two years of age. If you are watching this and your child is older, no sweat, but I want you to start practicing and being very consistent so we can get them off the bottle. Remember, the older the child is, the harder it can be to transition given they are more used to the bottle and more used to what they know. So let's talk about open cup use. This takes practice. So please be patient with yourself and your child and don't expect them to learn it right away. I generally like to start open cup practice when baby is independently sitting or close to it. Make sure you use a cup that is small for baby's hands and is easy to grab even if their hands are messy with food. At first, you may start to bring the cup to their mouth to practice even before they are independently sitting. They will wrap their lips around and gulp. Remember that this can be messy. I usually recommend water with meals, which can begin as early as six months. This is good for practice and is less mess. Start with one to two ounces and refill it if there's a spill. Make sure they don't drink only water throughout the whole meal because then they may not eat. Be patient with your baby. My own son, Ryan, started picking up the open cup around six months and it wasn't until nine months where he really got the hang of it doing it on his own. The goal here is exposure and repetition. So keep at it and it will happen. Oftentimes parents will stop using the open cup because they feel like their child is not getting it, but they need exposure and practice for it to happen. Once they have practiced feeling how the cup feels when you hold it, you can allow them to lift up the cup. Leave it on the tray and see what they will do. Remember there may be water in it, so it's okay if it's messy. You may need to begin by guiding the cup to their mouth with their hands so they know what you're trying to teach them. Eventually you should see them pick up the cup on their own, drink, and put it back down. It will get messy as they practice, but remember, practice makes perfect. Don't fear the mess because our own fear can take away from the patience and practice they need to learn this skill. For straw cups, there are two options I really like. This is the take and toss cup, which is available on my Amazon storefront, 
and it has a sturdy straw with a lid that you can remove. And this is the weighted cup, which means that whichever way they turn it, liquid should be able to come in. I usually recommend introducing straw cups after nine to 10 months. You can absolutely do it simultaneously with an open cup, but I like the open cup first because it's harder and then you can go to the straw cup. Use a weighted cup or use a cup with a straw. We love the take and toss cup available in my Amazon storefront because it's easy to clean and easy to train with the straw. Other options are the munchkin any angle cup, so any way they move it, they're gonna be able to drink it. And this is also available on my Amazon storefront under the meal time and feeding section. With straw cups, there are two ways to introduce it. One method is to fill milk or water and squeeze once they have their lips wrapped around the straw so it squirts up. Our goal is to teach them that if they wrap their lips around the straw, that liquid will come up. If they do it, make sure to always remember positive reinforcement. Yay, nice job, you got the milk in your mouth. Another method is for them to practice wrapping lips around the straw and sucking. You can suck up the liquid, place it in the baby's mouth, and allow them to suck the liquid that's in the straw. Release the end of the straw once their lips are wrapped around the end. My advice is to try these two methods first and then switch around the cups. Usually it's not the cup, but the lack of consistency in practice. So try one of these methods with the removable straw so that they can learn how to use the straw. Many times parents will move from cup to cup to cup to cup to cup without trying and giving one cup its due chance. So please try one cup before you give up and try something else. For more information on feeding solids, cups, infant sleep, development, and parenting, purchase my New Mom Survival Guide to guide you through baby's first year and beyond. With the course, you also get access to a private community, Q&As, and masterclasses by me. Once you know they have the motor skills to drink liquids out of the cup, it's now time to transition them off the bottle, which is more of a behavioral thing, as they have gotten used to the bottle or the breast. Stay tuned for the next video, which is coming in a couple weeks. Thank you for tuning in and remember to hit that like button, comment if you found this helpful and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on the next video in this series and all the videos to come.